send HTTP request to SharePoint. Using that, we'll read the users from the SharePoint group as well as we'll read the data from the SharePoint list. And for that, I'm going back to Power Automate. So here, I'm trying to create a flow. Uh, when I click this create, I can able to see different type of flows. I'm choosing this instant cloud flow. So when we click now here, I'll give a name as HTTP request and I'll take this manually trigger flow and click create it will create a flow for us now we have this manual trigger a flow trigger action here so before adding this send HTTP request I'll go to this site now here I'm going back to the site permissions when we click this advanced permission settings we can able to see the permissions and the groups which are available for this site now we have a couple of groups here so there is a group name called the site approvers and in this group we have three users one is a practice account another one is Rishan solutions and the support account so total three users are available within this group now we'll try to read this group so for that I'm adding this new step I'll search for the SharePoint and inside this SharePoint we can see this send HTTP request to SharePoint action. I'm selecting this. So this contains different uh, properties. One is site address. I'll, I'll choose this site. The site is Rishan Solutions. Now we have uh, different HTTP methods here. We have get, put, post, patch, and delete. And also if you want to add any custom uh, method, you can able to add from here. And here we have URI. So now what I want to do is I want to read uh, this group. So to get this group information, we have two possibilities. One is you can directly uh, directly read from read with the name, or you can pass the ID. So you'll get the group ID from here, or you can get the group name from here. Any any one you can use. So for that I am going back here. So in the URI i'll use see here the example also you can able to see underscore api slash web slash list the same manner we can use underscore api slash web slash now we are trying to read the site groups so so there is a keyword called site groups and then slash here you can get by name you can pass like this get by name and uh, here we can pass the name i'll take this one copy this and then paste it here so this is a group name and close it i want to all the users from this group so this is a URL. now i'm not passing any header i'm not passing any body when you are working with any other data operations we need to pass what content type and uh, uh, what headers you need to like uh, uh, in, you know what uh, application type or something we can pass here and the, in the body if it is required like if you want to pass any parameters you can pass from this I'm clicking save now this flow is saved it is saved I'll test this one click this one click manually click on test now it is when I'm, okay it's asking for the permissions now I'm clicking run flow now which is done uh, which is started successfully now it is running now it is successfully completed if you come back here so you can able to see the results and this results you can able to select and then what I'll do is so to see complete results I'm opening a notepad here and in the notepad uh, I just pasted the JSON format output which we got so here we can see d dot results now this is the metadata which we are getting from this user by ID but we have we have taken th this is a um, group uh, group name we have taken but it is now here get user by ID which is showing this user by ID is here now here the ID is 80 the account is practice account and the group uh, user ID is 11 and uh, the username is Rishan Solutions this is the second account in the first we got practice and we got Rishan Solutions account and finally we got third email address also which is support account total we have three users and we got the results here but this is in a JSON format now we got the results for the 
results for the group now I'll click this one so here we have used a site group get by name and if you want you can pass the group uh, ID as well and you can use site group and you can pass the ID and you can use slash users and it also reads the users so to get the group IDs or to get the user IDs you can able to use from this from the people's and if you click any any one of this account and you can able to get the user id also in the url now this group id is 28 either you can use the group id or you can use the name in the same manner i'll go back to site contents now i want to read data from any of the sharepoint list so for that now here uh, in the electronics we have 54 items now i'll click this one so we have plenty of items now i want to use this list to read the data and uh, i'll use the same flow so here i'm using the same flow here i'm using the same site address and method is same now here instead of this or otherwise what we can do is i'll go back and i'll add one more um, send http request to sharepoint action here i'll type send an http request send an http request to sharepoint here i am selecting this Rishan solution site now I, again i am using get met, get method only so here um, i am using this underscore api slash web slash list which is lists list and then here i'll use get by title and then open parenthesis use a single quote and paste the list name and close it slash items now here we we have used api and then web and then list which is a url of the list you can able to see lists i want to get that list by title so i'm using this one two three and i, I want to read all the items from that so for that i'm saving this now I'm not passing any headers, any body here. Click test and then use test manually, then click run flow. Now done. So it will take some time and then it will read data from the list. Now there is no issue and we got the JSON output here. Copy it and then try to paste here. So when you paste here, so you can see plenty of data here. Sometimes it is literally confusing so we have plenty of things here and you can able to see the uh, role assignments and attachments file and you can able to see the content type for the item one you can able to see the url and this is for the first item and then you can able to see the field uh, values as html everything you can able to see finally you can able to see the data here like id and title and the company products and uh, no models price you can able to see this but if you don't want to see all this stuff for example you want to use the select uh, uh, keyword to select only like title company products and mod models price and this one you want to read so for that also we can able to pass that in the url see so after items i'm using a question mark and then i'm using a dollar symbol now here i'll use this select keyword and then i want to get the title comma and then i'll copy few things from here i want to get the company and then pass the company and also i want to get the products products and uh, we have this models and i think the price is most of the places price is null so i don't want to read the price so now i'll go back here i think we don't have any issue here then click test and then go to this save and test and um, click run flow it is done we don't have any issue now then copy this json format code and then paste it out here so now you can able to see uh, we only get few metadata related thing for that item uh, which is an id and then we are getting the uri so which is this and then e tag you are getting and type which is 
sp.data.electronics123 list item. So this one will use, this type will use when we are trying to update the data and also when we try to add the data into the list. So we can use this, this type also in the body. So that we'll see in the next videos. Here we have selected only title. Uh, which is coming here and we selected company and we selected products and we selected model so this four uh, properties only we have passed in the uri so that's why we are getting this and we are not getting other metadata only we are getting a limited metadata related to the item and then the values we are getting for the second item and here it is a third item so we have plenty of items like that we have more than 50 items i think in this and you can able to see all of those now 54 items you can able to see now you can able to see this 54 so for example if you want to read only a single item for example i want to read um, this um, this we have null null values and we'll come up and then we'll see which have like this one so the item number 30 the id of the number 30 contains this title company and tv so i want to read only a single item from the single item from the sharepoint list so i'll what i'll do is i'll edit this one and then i'll put the select uh, like that only now after items uh, i'll pass the id of it which is 30 i'm passing directly i'm not reading all the items i want to read the id number 30 that you can able to see here now you can able to see the uri as well from here so which is showing this is the site and we are passing from here api web list and which is take which is taken a quick but uh, we have passed it uh, get by title and uh, we passed our items and then 30 and i want to read this four properties only from that item so i just changed my code uh, i'll save this one i will try to test click test and click run flow done now this is successful when you click this one you have a limited metadata here if you come down you can only able to see the single item properties which is title company products and models now you don't have any other any other items here so this way with a single http request either you can able to read a single item and if you want to read multiple items also you can able to read so this is this have more capabilities than out of the box actions like a get item and get items if you use get item it only reads single record and if you use get items and it reads complete data which means I, of course you can pass the filter as well but it returns in a table format and if you use get items and then you have to loop through and uh, this manner using this as send http request you can do multiple things and this single action can able to read the data and this single action can able to write the data as well so in in the up, uh, in in this video we just only covered few things which is like uh, reading the users from a sharepoint group and also we have uh, read the data from the sharepoint list uh, that is for the multiple items and also single item also we did and uh, we we have a capability to select the items as well so rest api this is this is simply a rest api call and these have more capabilities like you can able to filter the data you can pass the filter here after this select method and you can able to filter the data also from the sharepoint list so we'll see what are the other capabilities this send and http request have and also we have another action name called http request we'll see the difference between what is send and http request and what is um, what is exactly 